Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2023 general reading. We're looking at the first half of December from the 1st to the 15th, and this reading is for the fire sign of Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for being here as we you know, get settled into the middle of the holiday season. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. <laughs> Please hit that like button. It really does kind of help move the channel along. Share and subscribe as well. Uh, thank you to those of you who do. Uh, for those of you who comment, who reach out for personal readings, those of you who refer and recommend me to others, always my gratitude, always my appreciation. Thank you. So, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, if you're cross-watching for a Sagittarian, this video is also for you. It's a general reading, so it may resonate a little differently for everyone in the little details, but the fundamental energy remains the same. Uh, watch the videos for any or all of your other signs for additional insight. And if you find that something really does kind of resonate with you and hit home and you'd like to take a deeper look at it, uh, or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading, uh, with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description of this video, the title or description of this video. I would love to hear from you. I do offer um, quite a wide variety of reading choices in all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, budgets. There's something in there for everyone. Uh, and I can usually get back to you the same day with that information. And as I do readings full time, uh, I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling of personal readings too, if that's important to you. They do make great gifts, especially during this holiday season, because they're personal, they're easy to give. And also popular right now are the six and 12 month overviews I do, which give you a look ahead six or 12 months, uh, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, a lot of people order those at the end of the year as we're kind of looking at a new year. So something to keep in mind too. All right, let's move right into the Sagittarius. I am using the Tarot of Dreams. Clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. We begin with the Six of Swords, a card of healing. Slowly but surely, leaving the worst behind you and moving into waters that are more calm and harmonious and peaceful. It's transitional. It's a card of movement, meaning you're, you've left the worst behind you. You're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're headed in the right direction. There might be some good days and bad days in the beginning, but you're headed in the right direction. It's a card of healing. And taking the lessons with you as well, because swords is governed by the element of air, which governs our intellectual landscape. So it's healing, growth, and lessons too. With the Ten of Cups, the Happy Home card. So in the tarot, tens represent... Uh, a cycle completion, a cycle fulfillment, coming full circle. And this is this is a, one of the nice tens. The Ten of Cups is the Ten of Water or Emotion. We call it the Happy Home, Happily Ever After, White Picket Fence card. It's where you feel like things have finally fallen into place. Everything's just the way that you it needs to be, that you want it to be, especially where home and family is concerned. It represents home, sometimes the house itself, family, marriage, children, childbirth, it's like the end of the fairy tale right here. So healing around anything to do with home and family. Next we have the chariot. Success on possibly a challenging or difficult path. The chariot is about success that comes from not giving up, determination, perseverance, willpower, focusing on whatever the goal is, whatever you want, and then not allowing yourself to get pulled away or distracted. You know, this is about about pulling together all the resources and all the control needed in order to move something forward so that you can reach your goal. Determination, perseverance, willpower, staying focused on what the most important thing is. With that, we have the Five of Wands, but there's some conflict. The Five of Wands can represent conflict or competition, internal conflict, conflict within yourself external conflict but it's kind of cyclical it's it, it's it's petty but especially if it's about gossip or rumor mongering but it's cyclical meaning that it's it just kind of goes around and around and around in a circle you know it's like fighting with yourself and fighting with somebody else or arguing you know kind of going back and forth and you can't find a resolution because usually it's because people aren't willing to look outside of a certain belief or a certain mindset right so there's some conflict here. 
on whether to go for something, to not go for something, or how. Next we have the Knight of Wands. So Knights bring offers and opportunities for change. Uh, they also represent the speed at which situations move. And the Knight of Wands is the Knight of Fire. So very fast moving, very action oriented, full of passion and excitement and desire and creativity. Knights take what they learned as pages. Pages job is to gather information and learn, right? And then as they mature into knights, knights take all that information and knowledge and they charge out and begin to actually manifest to do things with it. So there's an opportunity here. Might be a fast moving opportunity. It might be a, an opportunity with a short window, meaning there's a limited period of time in which you can take this opportunity with justice, truth, honor, morals, ethics, doing the right thing because that's reflected in the outcome. Not what you wish or think about or what you wanted to happen, but what you actually do, what you choose, what your actions are, right? That's what justice is based on, what we actually do and choose. There's an opportunity here to do the right thing. And what the, whatever the outcome of the situation is, it's going to depend on your own choices. There's an opportunity here, and, it, and it's an opportunity that brings healing. You may be conflicted, some of this conflict with that chariot. You know, the chariot is a fair amount of energy. It may be that you, it may be that you worry that moving ahead on whatever this is may be too hard or too difficult. But there's kind of a link here with the right thing to do with justice. And, and I think the issue here can be summed up in this five of wands, conflict, internal, external conflict. From the bottom, <laughs> from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for the first half of December, Sagittarius is the ace of wands. So aces are the number one, of course. So they represent a new start, a new path or the opportunity. There's the opportunity for an exciting new beginning here. A renewal kind of energy and with the ten of cups and the ace of wands the knight of wands the ten of cups it might be a an opportunity for the family an opportunity for a relationship it might be the opportunity to get married I mean um, it might be renewing a spark that maybe had gone out let's clarify the ace of wands I'm kind of giving, getting a feeling for some of you that it's like, okay, well, maybe whatever it is that you see or that others see is the right thing. There's this sense of, okay, is it going to be too hard? Is it going to require a lot from me? Or, mm -hmm. there's, I mean, conflict is usually based on fear of some kind, so. Okay, we have the King of Wands with that Ace of Wands. That's you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could represent another fire sign for some of you. The Hanging Man, interesting because this is very similar to your sister sign, Aries. Um, not taking any particularly decisive action yet. Maybe, maybe seeing things in a different perspective from a different position. Watching something play out, seeing things from a different perspective. The Seven of Pentacles, looking at your motives for something. What do I have? What efforts do I put in? What do I have to show for it? What do I hope to gain? What's my goal? What's my purpose here? Kind of an internal reflective. Again, this whole reading is there's an opportunity for, re for, for healing, for renewal here in a situation that's been difficult, but there's conflict as to whether or not you or perhaps the other person or both of you together are willing to do what it takes to move forward. That's kind of the gist of it. No matter how much we clarify, that's pretty much the gist of it. And kind of evaluating, you know, what do I have to gain? What do I have to lose? And which is more important to me? Six of Swords and Ten of Cups. Healing and the Happy Home card. Six of 
Seven of Cups and Ace of Swords. I like that energy because Seven of Cups is focusing on all the different options or opportunities they might be and only focusing on the best of what something could be, not the most negative. The Ace of Swords is enlightenment. This is why we, we this is where that hanging man energy is a positive thing because it can, you know, give you epiphanies and knowledge and awakening and looking at the truth of a situation and, and in that energetic space you can make choices um, to create a healthier reality for yourself. So there's opportunities for healing here. It feels like um, part of you may now be open to looking at, well, it could be this thing instead of, I don't know about moving forward because this bad thing could happen or this horrible thing that happened to me in the past could happen here. And But now there's an opening here of looking at, at what it could be if it was a beautiful thing. You know, it's kind of like... You know, if you're in a relationship and, and it, the time has come where you're talking about marriage or maybe you don't want to, the other person doesn't want to because you had a really bad, painful marriage in the past and that's pretty much what's always soured you on it, it could be that now you're, you're seeing, well, maybe, you know, it could be this other way, kind of. I mean, that's one example for some of you. It might be about something else. That, I mean, I don't know if it's about it, like that kind of primary relationship or not. It centers around the home and family. That much is clear. But that Ten of Cups could represent the family as a whole. Let's take a look at that. The world, the three of cups. The world is a card of graduation, of, of final ending, so you can move on to the next stage because it's the last major arcana card in the tarot. And the three of cups is party, celebration, social energy, positive connections in your community, um, celebrating. It might be marriage for some of you. It might be buying your first home for some of you. Um, Yeah, the lover is a relationship at a crossroads, a fork in the road. A choice needs to be made, either about the relationship or in another area of life that's going to impact the relate the life of that relationship. Yeah, for many of you, it's a lot of relationship energy right now. It's about that relationship moving forward, taking a chance on something. Um, there's an opportunity here. So let's take a look at that chariot and the five of wands. This is so similar to Aries reading. The Wheel of Fortune and another knight, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Again, this is almost exactly the same as Aries, right? There's definitely a relationship central here. Um, so the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, I mean, this is a divine opportunity. It's quite clear that God's Spirit, Angels, Guides, has brought an opportunity here to act, to move forward in a very decisive way. Five of Wands. Two of Wands, the Chariot, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so, so that's the source of the conflict here. Is it going to be too hard? Is it going to be too much? Is it, am, you know, am I going to be taking on a heavy burden? Is it going to consume me? Is it, you know, fill in the blank. Fears. Knight of Wands. So we have that Knight of Wands, and the primary theme was that Ace of Wands, very excited, fire, new beginning energy. And when I was <laughs> shuffling for the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands popped out. Boy, it's like Spirit really wants you to move forward on this opportunity. Like, the sooner the better. What else just popped out? Justice, again, which it already has with it, Justice. It's like spirit is doing everything but screaming in your ear. This is the path. This is, what's that from the Mandalorian? This is the way. This is the way. This is the right path. The Ten of Cups again. The Page of Cups, which to me always looks like the offer here. Making the offer. Extending that olive branch or the, the bouquet of roses. Justice. I mean, I don't even really need to clarify anymore. It's, you know, the Magician and the Five of Wands again. You have everything that you need to manifest what you want. 
just you can end the conflict by making a decision and moving forward and then the conflict is done there's nothing to be conflicted about anymore if you're already moving forward so let's touch base with spirit on final advice guidance feedback very clear this was ex i mean a lot of the signs that share the same element earth air fire water often have i find have similar themes in them as I, when I post readings every two weeks, but sometimes like this, like yours and Aries, and Leo's too, but especially Aries, yours and Aries is like almost exactly the same reading. All right, advice, guidance, feedback from Spirit. <laughs> the Knight of Wands again. The Knight of Cups of Water of Love. Spirit is saying, move forward. Nine of Swords, the Moon. Stop trying to anticipate the future in the most, in the worst negative way. Like all of your fears coming to pass. Stop doing that. Just let that go. You you can cut that. I mean, the best antidote and the best weapon we have against fear of the future is motion, is movement forward. The Hermit, you know what to do. The Ace of Cups, a new beginning, that renewal is right in front of you. Emotional, we already have the Ace of Cups. Here's the Queen of Wands, we already have the King of Wands. So there's a couple there with the Lovers and the Two of Cups. I mean, it's obviously relationship central and the Sun. Light, love, warmth, laughter, all the pressures kind of uplifting and releasing. I mean, it's clear here, Sagittarius. Free will, free agency. You can always choose not to move down this path. But you know. I'll just leave it there. All right. Sagittarius, those are your messages for the first half of December 2023. I hope you found them relevant and useful, gave you something to chew on. If it did resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look, or if you simply like the reading style, if you're interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me, maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that uh, contact info by clicking the description. Uh, of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the December mid-month readings. Stay well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.